Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Alan with another broadcast of the Morlock Morning Digest. As always, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and most importantly, share the content to help the channel grow. Also, I ask that you guys check out the description below. It has a few options for donations, as well as a link to my backup channel on BitChute. I appreciate all the help. We have very, very interesting information breaking right now about the presidential elections for 2020. Yeezy 2020, baby! Kanye is running for president. Not only that, we have Elon Musk backing the campaign financially. Okay, for all of you Trump supporters that are worried right now, you need to get some things into perspective. And I'm going to tell you, there's nothing to worry about. I'm also going to explain to you why that's the case. There is not a Trump supporter in America, right, that voted for him in 2016 that is not going to vote for him in 2020. You don't have to worry about his base voting for Kanye. There might be a few people that flip, but not enough to make a damn bit of difference. That's what I've been seeing on all of the social media that I've been looking at. That's the case. Now, Elon Musk and Kanye are two of the biggest Trump supporters out there right now, okay? Kanye's been getting shit for the last three years for being a Trump supporter. They literally had him committed for being a Trump supporter. That left a sour taste in his mouth, okay? He doesn't want to be foreseen as a stereotypical black person anymore. He doesn't want to be a degenerate anymore. And honestly, Kanye's done a lot to change his character over the past five, six years, and I commend the man for it, all right? If it was 2024, Kanye would get my vote if there wasn't anybody better. I'm just telling you the truth, okay? Now, with that being said, Elon Musk, again, huge Trump supporter, is pulling all of his business out of California because of their regulations, etc., etc., etc. I don't think that Musk so much supports Trump, okay? It's not how Elon thinks. Elon doesn't follow anybody, all right? Elon likes Trump's initiative and what Trump stands for, and he doesn't want to stand in between Trump and winning the election in 2020, okay? These are both very, very smart men. Both of them are geniuses, in my opinion. You kind of have to be to get to where Elon and Kanye are, all right? Now, with that being said, nobody from the Republican base is going to flip for Kanye. Kanye doesn't want that. Elon doesn't want that. But the same cannot be said for the left. And I'm talking about the far left. The Bernie bros out there, they're not really far left, but we'll throw them into the same group as these far lefties. There's a lot of people that are Antifa, socialist, etc., 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 that do not want to vote for Biden, but they would because there's no other choice other than Trump and Orange Man Bad, okay? You're never going to get Orange Man Bad out of their mind. Kanye and Elon know this. Well, even though Kanye is a Trump supporter, right, he has the cult of personality where a lot of people aren't even going to be cognitively aware of that when they're making their decisions because they think with their emotions and not their mind, okay? They don't think about it logically. They don't look at Kanye and think about what he personally thinks. They see Kanye, right? And they see the token black celebrity that represents their demographic, their movement, okay? And that's what Kanye is going to capitalize on, and he knows this. Now, also, if I'm Kanye West and I really want to make a run in 2024, which I think he honestly does, and I think he has a chance of winning if he decides to, he wants to have some sort of political experience before that happens. He'd probably like to know how that system runs and what to expect before he gets into it by building experience. Now, he doesn't want to win in 2020. He just wants the experience. He also wants the brand recognition, okay? 
and he gets both by doing it and he does Trump a huge favor in the process because all these Bernie bros that would never vote for Biden who aren't gonna vote for Trump, they would vote for Kanye. That's what I've been seeing all over Twitter, all over Facebook, all over Instagram. I've been seeing people who are straight up Antifa saying that they'll vote for Kanye. I'm seeing trans, bi, polymerous, no eyebrow, shaved head, way left, radical feminist females saying that they will vote for Kanye. What does this do to Joe Biden's campaign? Think about it, people. This destroys Joe Biden. It's 4D chess at its finest, and I honestly think Kanye sat down with Trump and organized this long, long ago. Because Elon Musk also met with Trump around the same time. Do you think there's any coincidence that Elon's the one that's financially backing Kanye West? Could you imagine a Kanye West, Elon Musk ticket in 2024? The two biggest red pill celebrities out there known to freaking man right now jumping on the same ticket in 2024 after building the experience that they need to know how the system works in 2020 when there's nothing on the line and they don't even care about winning. All they need to do is draw enough of the black and youth vote away from Joe Biden to have Trump's base carry him to an electoral landslide in 2020. It's not too far away. You have to realize what proves to me that Kanye doesn't want to win is the fact that he waited until six states already had their deadlines for an independent president to register pass, right? He waits until July 4th, capitalizing on the Black Lives Matter movement, cancel the 4th of July movement, all of it. He steals all of those headlines and replaces it with Yeezy 2020. Absolutely freaking genius. What happens if he gets on a debate stage with Donald Trump and Joe Biden refuses to debate, right? What this is going to do, if Kanye actually takes this seriously and it's not a joke, right? If Kanye starts getting out there and actually puts a platform on the table, what does it do to Joe Biden? It forces Joe Biden to come out of his basement. It forces Joe Biden to get into these debates with Trump that he's refusing to do right now. And it puts Biden between a rock and a hard place. Literally, it puts puts him between Trump and Kanye West, two of the biggest cult of personalities America has ever seen in their entire life. And Joe Biden is supposed to hold up against that kind of popularity and pull inside of the culture? Are you freaking crazy? Democrats are terrified, by the way. Absolutely terrified of this. Absolutely terrified of it. Because they know that it doesn't hurt Trump. And that's why everybody on the left is acting like this is a giant joke. Kanye wouldn't have done this as a joke. Not by any means. This man has sacrificed so much for coming out as a supporter of Donald Trump. Gave up his freedom, got put into a mental institution. He's out for blood, okay? He's out for vengeance, and he wants to change the world. And by all means, I plan on helping them accomplish it. Because this is the best thing that could have happened for Trump with everything that's going on right now. Absolutely best thing that could have ever happened for him. Now, with that being said, I'm going to stop ranting about this. This is more of a feel-good video for me because... I'm enjoying the chaos that it's going to create, okay? It's going to be very, very entertaining for the next couple months leading up to the election if he's serious about this. And God, I would have loved to see Joe Biden, Kanye West, and Donald Trump on a debate stage. Oh my Lord, I, I would pay $50 pay-per-view to watch it, okay? God bless you guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.